so uh, this is the uh, rock module for you so you just go to slope so you will find that you have two types of failure one is the plane failure uh, plane failure and the other is the wedge failure okay so you'll find that in uh, rock it is pretty much different with soil works it's a kind of a wizard okay for example uh, i'm going for a plane failure model first i have unit weight or let's say 2.5 upper slope of 10 now what exactly upper slope is you can just click on read only and you can see that what exactly it is okay so you can see that what exactly to what exactly is h not uh, what exactly is h1 what exactly is s for the slope and i'm just using the default values to create the model and i will just say okay so my uh, model is automatically created by the program so it is moreover as a working in a wizard kind of environment okay let's suppose if you have some joint now so what is the shape so once again you can just check what exactly you are looking for so what is the angle let's say 40 degree what is the tension crack if you are considering so what is the property what kind of model type you are using to define the property let's say more column branton band is hawk brown as i already showed you in the uh, in the presentation before so the cohesion value friction angle if you want to consider the filling in between so you can uh, input the values once again uh, as demonstrated during the presentation so is for roughness so i'm just using more column and i'm just saying okay so okay now if you remember during the presentation i've already sh uh, told you that it is basically a 2d analysis uh, in the plane failure we basically perform the 2d analysis now one very uh, good thing about the rock module is that you simultaneously get the factor of safety you can see that the factor of safety right now is 1.267 okay you need not perform any analysis once again i'll repeat that it is a kind of a wizard kind of environment for example let us see what kind of load we can apply let's say external load or the static seismic load i'll just select static seismic load let's say horizontal direction let us give it a value let's say 0 0.15 0 0.15 and just say okay so you can see that as soon as I apply the load, you can see that how it is being applied on the model, the yellow arrow. But as soon as I apply the load, the minimum factor of safety has changed to 1.0167. Okay. Now let us go to reinforcement property. So you have rock bolt as well as the rock anchor. So I will just select rock bolt now. Tensile force is 20. If you want to consider the pullout force and shear force, you can add the values. So I will just saying add. Okay. So it has been added. Now the arrangement. Just click on the reinforcement arrangement. Okay. Let's say 5. The reference, the normal direction. Reference spacing is let's say, let us give the vertical spacing as 1 meter, as 3 meter. say one meter and what is your grouted length if you have any anchored length what is the minimum anchor length and you can just say add so you can see that what kind of arrangement it is considering okay now if you want the vertical spacing to let's say five meter let's say add similarly you can consider and you can consider and simultaneously you can check that what is the change in the factor of safety so it's like 1.0 so let us make it let's say 10 let's say add so the factor of safety you can see that how it is changing like 1.1 let us make it 15 let's say add okay so 1.171 I just want to make one very much near to the working plane 13 so 1.2 so similarly you can see that uh, how it is being considered okay 
so this is the plane wave so simultaneously you can change check the effect of uh, water pressure external load and simultaneously you get the uh, the factor of safety okay now let me create another model so i'll just say new i'll select lem okay slope so very similar to what we did i just want to show you the wedge failure and remember that in wedge failure we perform a 3d analysis so being a uh, 2d software so elvac supports uh, 3d analysis too so once again once again you can read what exactly is the different features uh, while you uh, create a slope model just say okay i'm just using the default values so it has been created similarly you go for joint as we did for uh, the plane failure you have shape you have property one property two so i'm just using the default values i'm just saying okay so this kind of wedge failure is considered now you can see the factor of safety is coming as 1.824 okay now let us apply let's say external load so top plane let's say 20 20 ton FY let's say 10 10 I'm just taking some arbitrary values and FZ let's say 10 just say add so you can see that in the direction in which it is working okay now let us apply some static seismic load let us give it a coefficient of 0 0.15 say ok fine now you can see the factor of safety has been reduced to 1.464 now let's suppose uh, we are just once again using uh, a rock ball just say add just close it reinforcement arrangement so what the program will do that it will automatically suggest you location of the nails uh, for effective uh, uh, increase in the factor of safety based on this on the horizontal and vertical displacement so let's suppose let us make it 5 5 and the vertical also 5 so you can uh, see that the number of uh, location and increase and just say add as soon as you add it you can see that the factor of safety has uh, increased to 1.5838 uh, so once again if I'm changing let's say 10 for the grouted length and I am saying add so the factor of safety has increased to 1.614 so that's so rock module is basically once again uh, we need rock module to simulate the actual rock behavior with different kind of material models secondly it can perform 3d analysis for problems where uh, wedge failure kind of situation is there so this is all from the rock module demonstration part